Alright guys, so here's how you can do the trick. So, um, I decided to split up the performance and the tutorial into two different videos just because this tutorial is going to be kind of long and I didn't want to bog you guys down with a single uh, really long video. So, um, anyways, I have the order of the cards and what cards you need right here. So I'm going to go ahead, let you guys have time to pause the video, get the cards in this order, and then I can move on with the tutorial. Alright, so um, at this point I'm going to assume you did that. And as you can see with the first packet here, um, you should have or you should be able to flip over this packet and then leave the Jack of Hearts on top. So when you flip it over face down, the Jack of Hearts should be on top. You take this packet and you put it down on top of the deck. And then you take the, these other three cards and when you flip these over, the Ten of Clubs should be on top. So then you put that on top of the six card packet over here. So at this point you have the deck in the order that you need it to be in. And all I do is I did a false cut in my uh, in my performance. Obviously, a lot cleaner than that, but I do have the tutorial for that. If you guys want to learn it, you go ahead and you do your false cut to the spectators, and you tell them you're going to mix up the deck, right? So obviously, you still have the cards here. And at this point, what you want to do is you want to force these top three cards. So all I did was I did a swing cut, and I got a pinky break right where I needed to be. And at this point, you can tell your spectators that you're going to riffle down the deck and they can say stop whenever you want and that's where you're going to pick their cards from. So at this point you riffle down and wherever they say stop all you have to do is take your thumb, put it at the break, take your top four fingers here, cover up this break that you're holding with your left thumb and you let it go and you just take the cards from the pinky break. So very simple and then you just deal down the next three cards and these next three cards should be the 10, Jack, and then the Ace. So um, at this point, you're going to tell the spectators, okay, I'll leave these Aces, or I'll leave these three cards on the table, and these are actually going to be face down in the trick. So at this point, then you're going to take uh, your toy spectators, okay, so I'll take a few more cards here, and you don't, you aren't really specific with the amount of cards you're taking, because what you want to do is you can count off six cards from the top of the deck, and this is where you're going to need to get a break. So Test back here is okay. I'll take a few more cards and just kind of just count off six cards without them really knowing it. You get your pinky break underneath the top six cards like this, and you tell spectators, okay, you know what? I'm actually just going to use three cards and you just kind of show them to the spectators. Use the deck to square up the cards and then grab the cards from the break just like this. So now what you're doing is instead of having three cards, you're going to have six cards in your hand. So at this point. Uh, you take the first card here and you say, look, so here's the first card you stopped me at. You can flip it over, show them it's the Ace of Spades, and you can just bend the deck a little bit and say, look, so those next three cards that you had me stop at were actually the other three Aces, and you flip the cards over, and you're going to be doing an Elms account, but you're going to be hiding a very thick amount of cards. So basically, you're going to be hiding four cards um, with one Elms account. So I'll leave the tutorial up on the screen for it. It's going to be a little bit difficult to do it with this amount of cards, but anyways, guys, you go ahead and you say, look, here are the other aces, and you just kind of do your your count, and I leave the ace out jogged a little bit. This way it's easier to come back around and leave it and put it face up on the deck. Now at this point, um, you flip the cards face down, and you tell your spectators that, or you don't, really do, you don't really tell them anything, you just kind of do something called the Ascanio spread, and it's basically you're showing these three aces while hiding, because underneath these cards, you're going to be hiding that other jack. So at this point I'm going to leave a link up on the screen so you guys can learn how to do that. If I teach that in this video, this video is going to get very long. So anyways guys, you do the Ascanio spread, you show them the three aces, and to the right you're going to have this thick group of cards, but you're showing it as one. So at this point what you do is you take the thick packet of cards first, then you take the next card from the top, then the next card, then the next card. So at this point you should be left with the ace of spades on top, and the ace of clubs on the bottom. So from here what you do is you show the spectators, okay look, so here's the ace that you chose from the beginning, and as you're flashing them the ace, all you do is you push over the top card, pull it back, catch a break, and then you just uh, nonchalantly leave the ace of spades back on top, and so you know what, I'm just gonna leave the ace over here, and now all I did was I stole that one card that I had the pinky break with, you leave that on top of the deck, square everything up, and then flip it over. So at this point, you're going to count this packet and you actually have five cards where you say look hold it in middle grip you go one card and so look I still have one two 
three cards and you only count off two cards leaving yourself with a pretty thick packet over here showing it as one card square everything back up and now you're ready for the next move so you take the next card and this card is going to be the jack and you leave this on top face up and again you flip over the cards and say look those other three aces have now turned into the other three jacks and you do again another elms account leaving their card out jogged taking it flipping it back over showing them the jack and then again you do the Ascanio spread just like this you show the cards to the spectator and then again one more time you take the thick packet of cards here on the right and you take them uh, first then you take the next card and the next card and then the next card just like that and again you do the same exact thing you do with the ace so you take the top card and this should be the jack of spades and you show it to the spectator and say look so here's your jack and I'll leave it off to the side and all you're doing is taking that top card catching a little break putting it back on top and then taking the jack and then this also this jack of hearts and you're taking it putting it off to the side squaring up the deck and you want to make sure you square up the deck this way when you leave the double so let's say you place it over here you don't want to take that jack as you can see when you pick it up it looks like there's another card there so you want to make sure you square up the deck before flipping it over this way you can hide everything at this point you're going to be left with three cards or actually four cards and what I do here in the performance is I do again um, the middle grip where I just take two cards off the top squared up leaving a packet here and say look so I still have only three cards and you square everything up snap your fingers and if you want here you can make a bet to the spectators and say look how much do you want to bet that right here is the ten of clubs so you do that if you want to and you end up flipping it over and you show them that it is the ten of clubs and you say look and now this is the point where you snap your fingers show them you have four cards and you can flip them over face up and all you have to do is show them and put the cards in order of the royal flush and you show them that those four jacks have actually turned into a royal flush so uh, this is a trick guys hope you guys like it and as always thanks for watching